Hi there. Welcome to Positive Power with Michelle Dion. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Absolutely beautiful out. The weather was on our side. Sun shining. Lots of opportunity for family barbecues and some socializing and some positive energy exchanges. That's what we're after, right? So I hope you had a great weekend. And I was going through online looking for what I wanted to talk about today. And you know, as soon as you log on to whatever it is, Facebook or Twitter or whatever, we're really bombarded with a lot of things that are going on in our own country that we have no control over. And the one thing that jumped out at me today was our utility bills. A lot of people are really upset about that, especially in Ontario, because we have the highest hydro in all of Canada. But at the same time, one third of the population of all of Canada lives between Windsor and Montreal. Did you realize that? So our supply, like, I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but when you look at supply and demand, it totally makes sense that we do pay more, but not to the extreme that we do pay. But anyways, <clears throat> so that started making me think, how can we take a little more control? And even though they're going to charge those astronomical prices, we can control how much consumption we use. And at least that's going to help us on our end. So I came up with this awesome article that I'm sharing on the Positive Power Facebook page. So go there and check it out and add some awesome tips. Um, they started off by talking about your washer, washing your clothes in cold water. Now, a lot of people realize that, but do you wash all your clothes in cold water? Because you really, really should. 90% um, of washing machine energy goes into just heating the water. So, you know, and these days, clothes are so much better quality than they were. Um, well, I don't know if better quality is really what I mean to say. But they're certainly wash and wear ready. Like, <clears throat> honestly, I don't even own an iron. But I remember growing up, my mom ironed everything. She ironed the bed sheets. She probably ironed the towels. So we're of a different era, <clears throat> which is awesome. So wash your clothes in cold water. If you clean your lint trap on your dryer, every time between um, dryer loads, you're going to reduce your energy cost by 30%. Although we know hanging outside in this weather is the way to go. Here's another interesting one that was in the article. Keeping your freezer full. You know, I used to have, like I still have the same friend, but um, I knew this couple years ago. <clears throat> and she was going into the freezer for something and she had a great big freezer, you know, those nice big ones. And she opens it up and it was packed full, like the baskets were full of the food up at the top. But underneath was full of paper towels. And I remember saying to her, this is like the weirdest thing ever. But there was a purpose for that. If you fill your freezer, regardless of what it is, it's going to um, con consume less energy because all that stuff, once it's cold, it's cold. Right? And paper towels, who cares if they're cold? Or toilet paper. Or whatever it is that you buy in abundance to save some money. So that's a really good tip, I thought. Another one to do with the fridge and the freezer um, is checking the seal around the door. How often have, do you do that? Do you ever do that? I've never done that. <clears throat> and the tip was, if you take a $5 bill and you put it in the closed door, if you can't slide it out, then you have a good seal. If you can slide it out, you're losing energy. So that's another great idea to help you consume energy. Um, another tip that I thought was really interesting in there is to do with your oven. <clears throat> if you have a toaster, I'm not pro microwaves, but I'm pro toaster ovens. And so if you use a toaster oven instead of your big oven, you're going to save as well. And when you are using your oven, make the biggest amount as possible because it consumes the same energy. And then you have leftovers to put in your fridge so that it doesn't use as much energy. Isn't it funny how it all ties in together? So there's some tips for you. And if you go to the Facebook page, you can read more. Um, very interesting. And it's just another way you can take charge of your life. And that's what we need to do. Take control back. So I hope you got something from that. Thanks for hooking up with me again. I'll see you next week. Have a fantastic week. And do something for yourself. Because I can't put into words how awesome you are. Have a great day.